it is actually 9:30 here in the far east and in today's vlog we are going to go to the university's library as i let you know in the comments of previous videos that uh, my uh, university actually started two days before on the 13th but we are having online classes for the first two weeks the first two weeks are going to be only lectures and after that all the practical classes are going to be held offline so i have decided to take you all along with me to the university library this is not the library which is in the medical building this is the library in the main building uh, so it is going to be a digital library so join me along for the entire day also some of you might have noticed i have written back to the same old dorm from which i made my first video that is the day in life of a medical student so yeah today the weather is actually kind of cold because there is a lot of breeze as usual we are used to this breeze during the winter uh, this is what which makes vladivostok's weather horribly cold uh, it turns your lips numb as soon as the breeze starts till then it's fine that's why i'm <laughs> doubling up on my a dress count i have a long sleeve turtleneck t-shirt along with a jacket on today we are inside the main building the library in here is in the 10th floor so i'll show you all of these a bit later but now let's get to the library and start studying for the day because i'm already late i wasted about one and a half hours this morning uh, doing a lot of other stuff so i need to catch up also my classes start at 11:50 today and it goes on till uh, 6:20 it's the library timing from monday to friday it's from 9 to 9 saturday and sunday it is on 9 to 6 uh, o'clock about 20 minutes of break before my classes start i finished my first session for about 1 half 15 minutes or so so let me show you around i am currently outside the main hall which i showed you before this library also has books but the point is most of it is in russian uh, if you need english books uh, those are available only in the medical building library which is pretty small and it only has medical textbooks it doesn't have other textbooks so it is just for the medical faculty in there so this one is entirely full of russian books uh, there is an exact same kind of configuration on the other side of the hall also we are actually one floor above the main hall we are inside one of the cabinets which is in this floor this floor is actually made up of eight of these cabinets which are directly viewing the uh, floor which is under this i don't come uh, inside these cabinets that often i haven't been inside the library uh, in the past one two years because of the corona virus and all these buildings were closed previously i used to come here uh, pretty often but after that i pretty much stopped coming here and i am starting with it this year because the timings are increased and the library is also open on weekends nowadays before it used to be only open in the weekdays that to till 7 o'clock either way we had a classes till 8 so i used to directly go to my room instead of coming to the library so now as the timings have increased it is pretty comfortable coming here and studying i don't come to this part of the library uh, inside this cabinet because these seats in here are really tiny and they are really uncomfortable to sit for a uh, long periods of time 
uh, there are a couple of plug outlets in here which makes it uh, comfortable but other than that uh, these seats make it a no go for me so anyway uh, let's go down let's start with the second session starting with my uh, university lectures so we have uh, four lectures today two uh, we are starting a new subject of uh, anesthesia today uh, and we are also having two lectures of medical research that is uh, the subject which deals with uh, how to submit your scientific papers etc. Uh, we have the lecture starting at 11.50 and it goes on till uh, 6.20 without any breaks. I would actually say this is actually the perfect time to come to the library because after uh, two or three weeks the library will start to become really cold because of the huge window panes that you see down there and the heaters don't start working until at the end of November so that's when the heaters start to work till then it's going to be pretty horrible sitting inside the library even now I'm only able to sit inside there with a turtleneck t-shirt and a long sleeve and that's one disadvantage of this library is that it becomes pretty cold yesterday I was inside the library but I was wearing just a t-shirt and I had a pretty horrible time so our first two anesthesia lectures got cancelled because the lectures only start from November and it is wrongly printed out in the schedule and our administrator just conveyed the message to us so just two lectures for today and it starts at 3 o'clock so I'm planning to shift somewhere else because I'm getting pretty bored in here so I'm planning either to move upstairs I know I said it's pretty uncomfortable but uh, let us see uh, let's go upstairs uh, or find another place so the computers inside the library are for us to use because it's a digital library uh, initially it used to be pretty fast all of the computers are connected to the central network and we can log in inside them using our university IDs and our passwords. Uh, the university ID and password is also the ones which we use for the Wi-Fi services inside our dormitories and the other buildings. So that helps us log in inside. It used to be pretty fast, now it is damn slow so I barely use them anymore. half hour study session is over now i'm going down to the cafe because i forgot to bring a fork or a spoon <laughs> so i need to go down to the cafe to get a fork or a spoon to have my lunch so that was the cafe behind got ourselves spoon and fork behind me you can see the spur bank so for lunch we have ourselves eggs and some sausages which i prepared this morning which made me late to the library so i'm gonna have my lunch watch a couple of youtube videos because yesterday night was the apple uh, iphone 13 event and i haven't seen uh, any of the announcements or videos of it yet so i'm gonna complete my lunch complete all those videos and then get back to study hopefully it is about three o'clock and i switched from that side of the library to the sofa section i got in about 40 minutes of studying 40 35 minutes of studying because as usual, after lunch, my uh, productivity scale goes down. So I use this time to write in some of my notes for my future videos. The next two videos are according to your request. One is about which iPad to purchase for your medical school requirements, which is the best iPad to purchase. One of the subscribers actually requested this video to be done. So that comes after this vlog. The other video is going to be my book recommendations for all you first year students who are going to be joining uh, medical universities. Uh, so the book recommendations for the first year of of medical school that's going to be the next video keep an eye out for both of those videos uh, hit the subscribe button down below and uh, get notified whenever uh, those videos come out also i think that is it for today's vlog i promised you uh, to show the uh, entire library in our university and i think that's done uh, for the video and i don't want to make this video a bit longer so that's it for today i'll see you guys in the upcoming videos really soon Hit the subscribe button down below, hit likes, comment down your suggestions on what are all the videos that you would like me to uh, do, what are all the videos you would like to see and I will see you guys in the next video really soon. Take care, bye bye.